May the storm of gaming be with you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Storm Striker SX9 here with another Storm Singularity. Not Singularity, Singularity. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it's been a while since I did a Storm Singularity because I know lately yeah, I've been working on a Pokemon Let's Play late for the past month and a half, maybe now. And we're almost done with that. Got the finale left to do with that, but that will be coming soon. But for now, I think we'll take a break until I'm ready to do the finale and from Storm Singularity. So the next game I will be playing for that will be will be uh F Zero X for the Nintendo GameCube, which came out back in 2003 for Nintendo GameCube and by, Nin and by Nintendo and was made by Amusement Vision and Sega? The Sega on there. Why? But okay. Nintendo and Sega working together. Anyways, as usual, I'll be playing this game casually with uh, Crashing Bid. So, yeah. Let's go. Also, let me turn down the volume. Quick. You're probably going, Hey, Storm, why haven't you turned down the volume before the you started recording? Well... It's always good to do it in the middle of the recording that way hear if the audio is good or not. Sometimes you want to do that like before you start a live stream. But it's always good to do that. Anyways, let's go. All right. So we got modes here to select. Also, I hope you like the, uh, let me turn it down a little bit more. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. Gotta be able to hear myself talk. Gotta be able to hear my voice over the game. You know. So I'll put it on 35. All right. So we got modes here to select. You got Grand Prix, First Battle, Time Attack, Practice, Story, Replay, Customize, here's the option, and then the Pilot Profile. Let's check out the option. Screen Mode. Oh, White Screen. That works. That works if you're planning on doing the game in White Screen. Well, there you go. Let me see what happens when I do. Yeah. 
no difference. Just bench depth a little bit. So, and let and like if you wanted to stretch it out or something. But I think we'll leave it on normal since we're playing it on uh, four three. But uh, code. Uh, we'll leave it on four three. And then there's a memory card. Controller, calibration, customize, and the controller rumble. Controller rumble is on. All right, so let's see. I think we're gonna do time attack because I like doing time attacks, so why not? We got Ruby Cup, Sapphire Cup, and Emerald Cup. Let's do Ruby Cup. We got Mute City, Casino Palace, Sand Ocean, Lightning, and Aeropolis. Let's see, let's do Mute City first. And we got characters that you can unlock as well. We got four available. We got Blue Falcon, Golden Fox, Wild Goose, and Fire Stingray. If I would, I would go out there, find a save game, and maybe have the ability to unlock all the characters. So... It is a fun casual playthrough. I could pause it where it is now and unlock everybody and then come back to the recording later. Yeah, let me do that real quick. I will be right back. In your time, it'll probably be within a few seconds because it's pausing. But for me, it'll be probably several hours or maybe a day or something. So I will be back. All right, and we're back. Sorry, it's been a while since I fit on this recording. I did unlock everybody, and I also unlocked some tracks as well. So let's once again go into time attack. All right, now we got Ruby Cup, Sapphire Cup, Emerald Cup, and AX Cup. So there we go. Let's check out Ruby Cup. All right, we already looked at these, so let's go ahead and do Meat City. And now we got more characters to choose from. Let's see, we got Fat Shark, Fat Star. I don't know if that's a K or an H. Fat Char. Cosmic Dolphin. Blue Falcon. Golden Fox. Wild Goose. Fire Stingray. White Cat. Pink Spider. Magic Seagull. Astro Robin, Death An Anchor, Super Piranha, Mad Wolf, Red Gazelle, Little Wyvern, Great Star, Deep Claw, Iron Tiger, Big Fang, Sonic Phantom, Green Panther, Hyper Speeder, Space Angler, that looks like Fox. Well, that's Leon. Well, yeah. You know. King Meteor, Queen Meteor, Quinn Norita, Night Thunder, 
Ruby Tank, Bunny Flash, Mighty Hurricane, Mighty Typhoon, Wonder Wasp, Bloodhawk, who is the bad guy and rival to Falcon, Wild Boar, Spark Moon, Silver Rat, Rolling Turtle, Crazy Bear, Black Bull, Dark Snyder, and Rainbow Phoenix. So I don't know why Sega is on there, but it might be because there might be characters in this game from Sega. That's probably why. Like this taxi here. Crazy taxi. Um, I think we're gonna be going as Blue Falcon. Blue Falcon. Craft console, the set. I think we're we're good where it is. We'll be balanced. All right. Three laps. New city. Bear with me here, as it's been a while since I played this game. A long while, actually. Hope you guys enjoy it, after all, you know. It's F-Zero, and this is one franchise that I wish they would bring back, you know? So far, the only game that uh, had anything to do with Captain Falcon or F-Zero is... Uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate and Mario Kart 8 Collapse. So. Oh man, that music is awesome. I forgot how good the soundtrack was in this game as well. It had an amazing soundtrack. It does have an amazing soundtrack. Hey, there we go. Impressive, new record. Good job, you've got a top ranking. Ah, I passed up Captain Falcon. Okay, let's select a course. Go to select a course. We'll do. Kino Palace. This time we're gonna go as Dark Ginger Schneider. Schneider. Dark Schneider. We'll keep it in the middle for balance. Casino Palace, Split Oval, three laps. Let's go. Be 
you guys are enjoying this game so far, by the way. It's actually probably the first time anything F-Zero was played on Grand Star Legion as well. What do you think, Starman? Did you see this coming? I thought this game would be perfect for Storm Singularity because it has something to do with uh, sci-fi and futuristic you know, cards. I thought it suited very well with Storm Singularity. And F-Zero is actually one of the favorite games I, I like to play back on the Super Nintendo days. And, in, and Nintendo 64 as well. Of course, the GameCube version, I haven't played that one in a very long time. So, this game came out back in 2003. I, I did play it back then, when it first came out, but since then I haven't played it uh, until now, actually. So, we're at a friend's house. I probably played it at a, at a friend's house, but that's about it. Thank you. But, go select another course. Next, the Sand Ocean. You can use machines with memory data. I think we'll go with Bloodhawk next. Craft console performance set. Can change the color. Yeah, we'll go with the default color. Sand Ocean, Surface Slide, Relapse. Go! You know, it would be cool that if they do ever make another F Zero game, they could put Star Fox in here. As, a ra as one of the racers, along with a few other Star Fox characters. That would be, be a cool crossover. That, Carol? That would be a cool crossover. Blood Falcon, your vehicle is fast. Also, stop hitting the wall. Okay. Yeah, it took me a day or two, maybe three to get everybody unlocked. I played this game non-stop since I started this recording. I had to get everybody in unlocked, you know? But I wanted to play it casually, not unlock everybody as I play. Just wanted to, you know, record it and have fun. And of course, Blood Talk is going to keep hitting the wall. Like he's trying to take himself out. <laughs> and he did. Brooks fired. Oh no. Like Taurus. Blood Falcon, you're crazy. Retired. Alright, let's go to Sapphire Cup. Here we got Big Blue. Let's go to Big Blue. I think we'll go with 
Where's that wolf guy that I saw? Oh, there he is. Space Angler. Leon. Go with Leon this time. Yeah, he reminds me of a character from Star Fox. Like, Wolf. Maybe he's a relative of Wolf or something. Big Blue. Rift Highway. Relapse. Hey, he was trying to take himself out. Bloodhawk, you're crazy. <laughs> and he did take himself out. Oh well. Oh, watch it. He landed in the lava. That's how we lost. Anyways. So yeah, Mute City and Big Blue are two tracks that you can race on on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Wii U and Switch. I think it's mostly on the Switch, I don't know. I could have swore that I did see it on the Wii U version as well, probably. Yeah. I don't know why I keep trying to, I keep hitting the wall and not doing it on purpose. Accident. Your ship turns on a dime just like Bloodhawks. Careful, though. Too much damage, and it'll explode. Impressive. Finish! Impressive new record! Thank you. There we go. Well, we got Big Blue in there. Okay. What else we got in that wire cup? Port Town, Green Plant, Port Town again, and another Mute City. Yeah, let's do the, this Mute City. Serial gap. Gaps. Oh boy. Let's go back to Blue Valley. Let's go back to Blue Falcon. Oh boy, huge city with gaps. Tired. Mm. Oh, this this Mute City. Oh boy, this has a difficulty of four stars. And of course, retire. Okay, I admit it. I think I found a save file, and that's how I got them unlocked. Basically, used a game shark to unlock them. I admit it. Wanted to play it casually. There you go. I have no shame in you. There's people out there. Of course. Okay, this is. I don't know. 
I'm changing tracks. I can't do that one for four times. I'm sorry. Tracks. Firefield. Green plant. Casino Palace again. Lightning. Another big blue. I can see why I'm falling though. That one has a difficulty of five. And then here is F Zero AX Club. Huh. Not Club. Huh. Aeropolis. Outer Space. Port Town. Lightning. Green Plant. And another Mute City. Ooh. Sonic Oval. Let's do it. Okay. Captain Falcon, let's do this again. Let's try again. Another friendly. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Cute City, Sonic Oval. Now, this might be because of the Sega the title screen. Because it says the word Sonic. Sonic Oval? I don't know. Got boost power. Do, 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 do. Yeah, a final act. Do, 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 do. That one is done. Ugh. Okay. Got the Falcon? You did it again. All right. Now, Port Town is the one I was falling on. That one doesn't look hard. Why did... Wait a minute. Because of that twist, I think. Let's see Green Plant. I'm gonna do the Red Gazelle. He's a robot doing the twist. <laughs> Green plant, Mobius ring. Wait a minute. That might be something for Sonic too. I don't know. Is that Mobius? Maybe. Okay. I don't know why this has a difficulty of three stars. It's an oval. Probably because of that, I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to get some F-Zero on Grand Star Legion, so there you go.
Hope you guys are enjoying it, by the way. I hope you also like the layout that I made, specifically for GameCube and Nintendo 64. I even have one for Nintendo 64. I used it for it, I believe. Whoa! Need to be careful using the boost. If I use it too long, I'll crash and burn. Finish! Impressive! New record! Data has been established. Like I said, I like doing the uh, the time attack stuff. Okay, have a look at the Emerald Cup. That sort of looks like an oval. At the same time, I like there's something. Oh, oh my God, that looks crazy. That's green plant, but on wait on the emerald course. Okay, let's do the green do green plant. And for this one, we'll be going with Big Fang. Big Fang. Bio Rex. Let's do this. Big fine. Green plant intersection. Three laps. Let's go. Go. Careful. Careful. Oh, it's a tube. Oh, wow. Now it'll see what'll happen if you get out of the tube wrong. You'll probably fall out or something. Oh my God, this is Hope you guys are not getting dizzy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, be careful. Ooh, that's the thing we just came out of. Power. Going back in the tube. Here we go.
That one was fun. Okay. I think it was a green plant in this one. No. Sand Ocean. Oh, okay. Check out lightning. It says loot cross. Sonic fan song. Lightning, loot cross, three laps. I need to be careful not to fall off on this one. It's best to protect you from falling on some of them, some of the areas. Like that. Oh! Whoa! Hmm. Careful! I think there's a damage meter on this game. So there was in the original game, the uh, damaged your vehicle too much, you would explode. So what is your favorite character to play as on F-Zero, any F-Zero game, not just the original? Yeah, Final lap! For me it has to be, uh, <laughs> um, Captain Falcon, obviously, and Leon. And that robot dude, I forgot his name, but he was a cool one. We were just driving as him earlier. But yeah, there's a lot of characters in this game. funny how when you first start out on this game you only have four characters to start with you have to unlock everybody but for some reason Sega's in the title so I'm wondering there might be tracks and stuff, or characters in this game from from Sega that's probably why okay like that Mobius one that I was doing Okay, so, I think that's good for the time attack. Uh, let's see. First battle. Two or more controllers are needed. Practice. Okay, let's do a practice. I think we'll go with Mute City first. One. I'll be driving as the Falcon again. Let's go. Free run. 
I say three laps. Let's go, um, four CPUs on novice. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Yeah, I'm putting the CPUs on novice. Cute City, this road. Got boost power. Go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster, Sonic. Uh, what? Okay, we checked out the practice with an actual actual CPUs that time. Let's see what is customized. Customized garage emblem editor and F Zero shop. Okay, right. Original machine. Register of pilot. I'll do an original. You can make any ship you want. That's cool. Zero shop. Okay, this is where you can buy pilot exclusive machine availables, custom parts, item. You need currency to be able to get any of that stuff. Emblem editor. This is where you can make an emblem. And by the looks of things, you can make anything you want out of it. Obviously, it has to be family friendly or you know <laughs> nothing dirty can't do anything dirty on it i know it's a teen rated game but still okay pilot profile oh Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon was the winner of the previous F Zero Grand Prix, an achievement that boosted his already high popularity even higher. Beyond racing, he is quite well known as an extremely capable bounty hunter. Just how many criminals he brought in is unknown. But the number is said to be astronomical. 
Aside from the fact that he hails from Port Town, his past is a complete mystery. His mind and body are are honed from the many battles he has survived, and there is no challenge he can't overcome. Wait, Civic Captain Falcon, Octoman, Mr. Ed, James McCloud. James McCloud. McCloud is the leader of the Flight Squad Galaxy Dogs. He had his combat plane converted into an F Zero machine in order to complete compete in the Grand Prix during peacetime. There is very little work available. So McCloud has entered his second race in an attempt to take home the big prize. Honey. He is motivated to become the new champion by thoughts of his wife and young son, both of whom need his support. James McLeod is the father of Fox McLeod. Interesting, right? I think the F Zero might be in the same universe with Star Fox, I think. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Want, you can too. Leon. Leon is from the war torn planet of Zao, where he lost both of his parents during the big war 12 years ago. As the planet suffered from, suffered through the after effects of the war, it was decided that one F-Zero machine could be sent to the Grand Prix with Leon as its pilot. A symbol of hope for the ailing planet. Leon was, has a great track record in the F-Zero races. As a result of his well-balanced abilities, and he desperately wishes to become champion in order to save the children of Zal from poverty. Blood Falcon. Although listed in the race literature as 37 year old years old. Blood Falcon is actually a clone created from Captain Falcon's DNA, which was stolen while he was hospitalized after the huge accident four years ago. With that in mind, Blood Falcon is technically only four years old. He is capable of everything Captain Falcon can, but he has been strictly taught to obey all the commands of his evil master, Black Shadow. Who is also in this game, by the way. There's Black Shadow. Unknown, Black Shadow is a cold-blooded king of evil feared by all. However, Captain Falcon has seen much success capturing his foot soldiers. And Black Shadow wants nothing more than to see the end of his meddling bounty hunter preferably in front of millions of fans. Digi boy. Diagora. TJ. You saw him earlier. TJ works as a cabbie for Galaxy Cab. A company whose taxi travel from planet to planet all over the universe as the biggest earner at Galaxy Cab, he demanded an increase in wages, which resulted in a fight with the owner of the company and wound up earning him a temporary suspension. PJ saw, then saw an article about the F-Zero races and it changed his life. 
He took all of his savings and transformed his taxi into an F-Zero machine. Can he really take the driving skills that he forged as a taxi driver and use them to win the Grand Prix? Phoenix. Phoenix is a time traveler who has came back in time from the future. His role is that of a space detective dispatched to protect the natural progression of time and history. He became he came to this era after receiving information that an event would occur in the next F-Zero Grand Prix that would change the history of the entire universe. He's now busy running around in his beloved time machine, the Rainbow Phoenix, trying to stop this event before it occurs. He looks like Captain Falcon, doesn't he? Deathborn? Mighty Gazelle. Four years ago, Mighty Gazelle was the pilot who took the worst damage in the huge accident that led to the temporary suspension of the F-Zero Grand Prix races. He just barely escaped death and was resurrected as a cyborg primarily made up of mechanical body parts. Living only for, for F-Zero, he ignores the complaints of those who oppose his race. Participation. No protest would take, make him skip a race because he is a cyborg and he has been to, able to polish his racing skills without fear or, or of death. No analysis of his past races. He has fine-tuned all of his relaxed reflex related components. That's everybody. Well, that I raced as. Yeah. There's the pilot profiles. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I think that'll be it for this game. Yeah, it says Sega on that. I don't know why, but I'll look that up. But I think that'll do it for this game. Um, I am Stormstriker SX9, also part of Grand Star Legion. If you enjoyed this video and game, please remember to give it a like, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. And make sure to check out my main channel as well to know when I upload videos there and make sure to click that notification bell to know when we upload new videos. Y'all next time.